Unique Cell Treatment Clinic is a medical center the history of which goes back to 1994. For over 15 years the founder of our clinic Professor Alexander Smykodob Sr. was the head of the clinic developing and introducing unique methods of stem cell treatment. Now his son Alexander Smykodob Jr. continues this unique treatment commenced by his father. We are at the UCTC clinic and we're sitting with Dr. Smykodob Jr. We're sitting with Dr. Pan, and we're sitting with her husband, Dr. Lim. And it's most interesting, I find, that uh, Dr. Pan and her husband, Dr. Lim, have been working together with the treatment created by Professor Smikadup so many years ago for the longest period of time of any doctors in the world. So, first of all, I want to say very big welcome to you here. And I'm sure you remember this office because this is the same office where Professor Smikadub used to meet with you. Is that true? True. Yeah? And has Junior changed it much? No, Junior does not change much. Okay, very good. Dr. Pan, Dr. Lim, how was it you came to meet or find out about the treatment that Professor Smikadub created so many years ago? How did you meet? Actually, it's from the website. You know, we, we went to the website and know the address and then we start to have email contact with uh, Professor Smikodo. So uh, that was in uh, 2004. 2004? So, yeah. By the year January, uh, we, we start to uh, visit uh, Professor Smikodo in Kiev. So at that time, we have no intentions to receive any treatment. We just want to investigate whether it's true or not, it's a real stem cell treatment. Mm -hmm. But uh, after meeting Professor Smigodo and then seeing all the, <coughs> all the services here, we started to ask for service immediately. Uh, so Professor Smigodo allowed us to receive treatment. Uh, well. So you started in 2004. January. Do I understand that you've had treatments yourself? Yes, both of us uh, received treatment at that time. Okay, how many treatments have you had over the years? Uh, two treatments. Yes? Well, you look absolutely wonderful, as, as you should be doing. Um, so since 2004, how many uh, patients have you brought here to the Smikadub Clinic? Oh, in fact, uh, when, we, when we went back, we started to communicate with uh, Professor Smikodo and then asked for uh, agents in the Asia agency. So he agreed. So by the year, I think that was uh, very difficult for us to push because nobody in the world knows about stem cell. And most of the doctors, the advice is negative because they know, don't know much about stem cells. That's why for us to promote that was a very difficult time. So from the year 2004, we have about uh, 20 patients a year. Mm -hmm. So has, is that pretty regular now that you're bringing about 20 patients a year? Oh yes, the number of patients start, in, start to increase by the number of years. Uh, around uh, recently about 60 patients a year. Oh, that's... How many of those patients have actually come for second, third, fourth, fifth treatments? Oh, there are quite a lot of patients come for second and third treatment. Uh, one of my good friends is the boss of the list company, this company. Uh, by the year, by three years time, he already had five times treatment. And is this, does this gentleman, is he dealing with Parkinson's? Uh, his brother is dealing with Parkinson, but he's not. Okay. Um, these patients that come back, it must be that they're getting good results from the treatment here, yes? Sure. So that they have a good incentive to return, that yes. the, the treatment here is real, what Professor Smikadub created is now being carried on by his son, and we're all together working to 
help let people around the world know that this treatment is real, that uh, the Smick It Up legacy continues, that Dr. Smick It Up Jr. carries it on, and in fact is working to advance the legacy and increase the research and increase, increase the healing potential that is available from the treatments here. And I understand you as doctors are involved in this as well, correct? Correct. I'm going to ask you as a woman and as a doctor, what was your professional opinion of Professor Smickadup? I unfortunately will never get to meet him. The closest I get is to his son, Dr. Smickadup Jr. I believe Dr. Elizendis Nudal is the greatest scientist. And what do you think of his son today? He's great so uh, too. He's great too. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <Okay. laughs> Dr. Smickadup, I understand that when you were a young boy, you grew up in a household and a history that was full of doctors and medicine and research and that actually you never had any ideas of being a fireman or a Cossack, you were going to be a doctor. Is that true? Yes, it is true. And uh, uh, I know the, that I will become a doctor from the very beginning, from five years old. I know it exactly that my way is to be a doctor, to help people and to continue the deal of my father. Now, as a young man growing up, you were aware of your father opening the clinic, pioneering the fetal stem cell treatment, and there must have been conversation about Dr. Pan and Dr. Lim when he started to work with them. And it would be interesting, what were his thoughts about that? No, uh, conversation uh, with Dr. Lee and Dr. Pan, uh, my father started in uh, 2004 and uh, our families become friends. And uh, my mother and father visit Dr. Pan and Dr. Lim's house and spend great time in Malaysia, in Penang Island, and uh, we always um, try to um, make Dr. Pan and Dr. Lim feel well in Ukraine and our families are friends and I think that our friendship will never end and never die. Yes, and I thought, um, I think Dr. Alexander Smikodok is the most greatest uh, scientist and uh, and also admire his wife. It's um, very very special, unique. Unique. Mm -hmm. And uh, I never have have been to have this uh, beautiful memory. Um, Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. And what do you think? the future holds for what we might do in the next 20 years. I think uh, with uh, Dr. Legendary Junior, the method of, st of fetal stem cell treatment will be more advanced and more benefits to all the patients. And he is a very honest doctor and with a very kind heart uh, to all of his patients. Uh, he is uh, not money concerns but he put more on his patients well-being and help. That's why I can foresee that in future he will be very successful in his career. Now you're, you're more than likely aware of the fact that one of the things he's done already is when Professor Smickadub started he used to have 60 percent survivability of the fetal stem cells after cryovac and Dr. Smickadub Jr. has now been able to improve that procedure where 98% of the fetal stem cells are surviving, which certainly is 38% better. Sure. 
So this to me in itself is a, a huge surge in advance for increasing the potency of a person when they receive a treatment here. Sure, sure. When we, we were in Malaysia, we just uh, professor and wife and me and my husband is in one car. Then I told I, I and I told Doctor Alexander Simpadov, I said, "You have a long, long life. We wish you have a long, long life." Uh, because you can cure and save be a billion of people. Thank you so much. And we wish you a, a wonderful, special few more hours here in Kiev. If you want to know more, contact us.